Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Today I am going to be doing my part one of my fall decorating series. But first, I wanted to show you guys a little haul of everything I got this year for fall. It's not a lot, and hopefully, maybe I can get a little bit more somewhere else. Depends. I don't know if I even need more. But we'll see. This is just a few things that I picked up here and there. So, I'm going to start with what I got from Walmart, and that's over on this side. I kind of organized it, kind of not. So, I thought Walmart had some really cute stuff this year. You just have to know how to look so these were my very favorite find and I decided to get one in each color they are the harvest pumpkin is what it's called they are 444 and I am loving this type of pumpkin just like the soft fabric pillow like so I got the white the brown and the black so I think these are so cute and such a steal so like I said three of those and I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. And I honestly, I love the white one and the brown is also really cute. But I thought, you know, get the black too because I do have a few things that I decorate that are black. So this is going to help incorporate some more of the black color. And then I got this. It's $1.14. I think I'm going to let my kids use this in their room. They love to decorate. They love to help decorate. And so I... Don't want to make them feel bad when I want to tell them where to put everything. So I like to get them their own things that they can decorate with. And then they can decorate their room however they want. And it's just really fun for them. I love to do that for Christmas too. And they have so much fun. So I have this one. And then I grabbed a bunch of picks. And I have no idea what I'm going to do with these. But I think... Okay, so there are different prices for these. So... These right here, all of these were $1.14, which I feel like because everything's going up, these would have been like 98 cents. But anyway, I got these acorns, mushrooms, and then the pumpkins. And I like to have picks on hand because you never know where you want to kind of stick them. So some of this may even look really cute in garland or when making a centerpiece, things like that. So I like, like I said, stuff like this on hand. For when you just need a little extra something and of course you can always cut them off of the pick and use them as filler somewhere and then these two were a little more expensive they were 314 but I thought these were really cute I do like the buffalo um, check plaid and then just white because white is kind of my go-to I really like the neutral but these are both very neutral so I got those this I've been wanting some pumpkins like this I only got one right now um, you know, just kind of imperfect. I really love these. This was seven, so the tag is off. It was seven something. I don't remember how much, but maybe close to eight, but it definitely seven something. So I got one of these. And then the last thing I think that I got from Walmart is garland. Now, this is this does not look how it did when I bought it. So I'm going to show you later on in the video what I did to make this garland look like this. But it was, I think, $3.98 and it's six feet. It isn't exactly the fullest garland, but for the price, really nice. And you will see what it looked like when I bought it. But I don't have any left to show you what it looked like, but I do have some before shots and maybe i will insert it maybe i won't i don't know <laughs> um and then let me go into the dollar tree part of the haul so what i got from dollar tree i got this sign now i guess everything from dollar tree is a dollar 25 i think it is um but it's really thin so you know but i got this to use my cricket and maybe write autumn or something. If you have any ideas what I should write on this, let me know. But I did want to craft some type of sign. I think it would look really cute. And I thought these things were actually a really good steal. Like these are really good. So I got, it comes with 10 cupcake wrappers. And they just look really cute. I thought these would be perfect if hosting like a fall event or just for fun i love to make things fun with my kids so i got those even thanksgiving 
And these are called cupcake kicks. Um, they are pumpkins and then acorns. I thought these were really cute. And I don't want to use them for cupcakes. I actually want to use them as like little appetizer um, toothpicks or skewers and you can put meatballs on them or um, with a charcuterie board. But I just thought these were perfect. So I got those. I got some Baker's Twine in black and orange. I don't know what I need these for, but we love crafting and I homeschool. So you never know some of the stuff that you need this type of thing for. And I love keeping stuff like that on hand. And then I got some of these zipper seal bags. They are 30 and they just have pumpkins and sunflowers on them. I thought they were really cute. So I have those as well. I got some of these pumpkin stickers. This comes with 14. They were really pretty and my kids love stickers. I also got this for my kids. Now these, my kids love these. They are just the window decorations, like the window clings. My son wanted this one with the truck. And then I got this one for my daughter says autumn with just like pumpkins and stuff and they love this thing and i remember when i was younger i loved this type of thing too we didn't have the gel kind but we had like you may remember just like the kind that you decorate windows my mom used to do that i thought it was so fun but instead of doing it like in the house i let get this also for their room and i let them decorate their mirrors and they just love it so instead of just telling them no i don't like that type of thing i let them have fun in their room and they have so much fun and then the last thing I got from Dollar Tree were these leaf cookie cutters. And I was just telling my husband the other day, I really wanted to get some leaf cookie cutters. I saw some at TJ Maxx, I think, and it came with like a few other things, but I was so happy that I actually found these for only $1.25. So this is gonna be so fun. And then the last place that I got stuff, two more things. So we were at TJ Maxx and I found this pumpkin. So if you know this, I love to decorate farmhouse glam style. I really like to incorporate glam pieces and just some modern pieces as well, just to like brighten up the farmhouse look. I really do love modern farmhouse um, decor and stuff like that, but I do love also blingy glammy things too. So when I found this pumpkin, I could not pass it up. I'm also looking for some glass pumpkins that you can see through and they're just so pretty. I found a bunch, but have not gotten any yet, but I do wanna incorporate a little bit of these, but this pumpkin was $16.99. I just fell in love with it, I had to get it. And then after I got home, I noticed that it lights up, which made this pumpkin that I was already in love with so much better. So this is so nice, check out your TJ Maxx and kind of, you know, home goods. I love those stores for decor. And I actually forgot about this one. It is a pillow pumpkin I got from Aldi, believe it or not. They have some amazing pillow pumpkins. It was $14 and I mean, come on, I'm telling you. They had a few different colors, just like these little ones that I got from Walmart. And I may go back and get like the other two colors for the couch and like beds i think these i'm just obsessed i don't care they're so cute and soft and i just love i just love it i feel like it adds such a nice touch to what you're decorating so i got that and then the last place i'm going to show you is target and it is all target dollar spot which is amazing <laughs> so first let's start with this sign i got for five dollars autumn harvest they had a few different options at least one other option than this and i just thought it was so cute so this is perfect and i had our new house in mind which has started by the way if you were following that it started the basement walls are almost up and i'm so excited so next year at this time i will be decorating our brand new house and i cannot wait but I had this in mind for the new house, probably where I would have coffee. If I have a coffee bar, I had that in mind. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. But I thought this was so cute for $5. I love stuff like this. And I do have a Cricut, so I probably could make one, but it was only $5. So, new house in mind again. I used to always decorate tiered trays in our old house. 
and this house is so much smaller that we are renting than our old one and then our new one um so I just don't use a tiered tray here. I just feel like it's just way too small and would be way too cluttered. But I got this in mind because I still want to decorate tiered trays. These were only a dollar. And if you decorate tiered trays, you know that you need all these little knickknacks and stuff like this for that. So this just says carve pumpkins, drink coffee, enjoy fall. And this one is homemade apple cider. I think these are so cute. I don't know if I'll use these at all this year. We'll see. I don't have anything that I know it would work with, but you never know. And then when we were at Target, they were actually, she said they were looking for all of their back to school stuff when I got these, and they kept opening boxes and there were just a bunch of pumpkins. So she said we could look through the boxes and get them. So I got all these before they were even out on the shelves. And that was awesome, because she was like, once we put these out, they're gonna go, and I believe it. So this one was $3, again, soft, I am just loving that. I got this one for $3. I love the texture. I've been trying to get different textures and like hard, soft, pillowy ones, all kinds of stuff. I got this one also $3. It's, it's probably styrofoam underneath, but it's like a fabric on the outside and like soft. And then I got this one also $3 in that Buffalo check. I have a pillow for fall that looks like this along with see what I was talking about is this is just incorporating making everything flow instead of having just like one thing and it just kind of feels out of place I have a bunch of different other ones this one was three dollars like I said I got a bunch of different kinds I may or may not use all of them this year but it's just nice to have this one was i believe five dollars yes five dollars it's kind of velvety but i thought this looked really nice this one is just like the white one three dollars this is another textural one for three dollars and you can see it's nice just to have textures and then the last one i got is i guess it was five dollars um i guess it would be ceramic but i just wanted different textures and pieces throughout so that is everything that I got this year for fall decor as of now but I, but I hope you enjoyed this part so let's get into decorating but before I forget I wanted to show you what I got from EnviroScent it is like an air freshener company and they're supposed to be clean and healthy and unfortunately in this rental we are not allowed to use air fresheners as crazy as that sounds um so i've been creative i'm not even allowed to burn candles here which it is what it is our house has started and we will be out soon um but these are really cool i got it it is vanilla bean pumpkin chai scent this smells amazing so it comes with these four sticks and this little stick um uh, holder and it makes the whole the whole house smell amazing so I'm going to be getting a few more of these it's like I said it is amazing so they have these they also have um, I think they have the same scent in their air fresheners but like I said we can't use that so this is my best bet right now um, but it smells so good it smells like fall so I'm gonna have these scattered throughout but I only have one right now but if you're looking for a cleaner air freshener option I definitely recommend these I wanted to show you really quick these are the glam pieces that I have so far I don't have a lot and I just like to add them here and there so I believe these two were from at home last year and this one I got at a local grocery store last year as well so this is my new piece and by far my favorite but I love all of these and I'm not sure where I'm going to use these. I may use them in the living room, dining room, our bedroom. I did these in our bedroom last year and I really liked that. So we'll see.
So this is the cheap garland that I found at Walmart. I'm just going to do this little quick DIY with it. All you need is the brown and black spray paint. I got one of the cheapest brands I could find at Walmart and I definitely recommend it other than that I feel like it smells way worse than the normal spray paint I normally buy. I feel like the colors really worked well, especially the brown one. It was amazing. So the living room looks pretty different than the last time I had filmed a video. I rearranged some things and I was able to put my piano in here, which I was super excited about because I love playing the piano and I was really missing it. I also decided to chalk paint it, which I feel like it turned out so good. I actually got this piano off of Facebook Marketplace last year or the year before, I think it was last year, and I really was so excited to paint it. Going to start off the decorating by decorating the piano and I'm going to use two strands of the garland that we kind of DIY'd today and I'm not gonna lie I feel like this piano is a little bit hard to decorate maybe because I've never decorated really one of these pianos for years we had a baby grand piano and then I sold it and got this one and then we moved and I was not able to really decorate it so I'm trying to get the hang of it. I think it actually turned out really well, but it did take some thinking about. I would eventually like to get some twinkle lights to put through the garland as well. I absolutely love doing that in the fall and winter in the garland. It just makes everything so cozy and I just love the look it gives off. So I think I'll probably have to look in some of my Christmas bins because I do have a lot of twinkle lights already. This is actually my first year decorating this fireplace for fall. We got the fireplace a little bit before I started decorating for Christmas, like a couple weeks. And so I never really got the chance to decorate. So I'm really enjoying doing this. Open 
looking out the window I'm breathing in the last of September I can feel the wind blow And the late summer sky is like a dying ember I'm just going to put this pillow cover on one of my feather pillows that I like to use on the couch and I'm going to try to make a cute little basket here by the fireplace. Since I was a little child Every year for as long as I remember All the leaves were on and wild If there's one thing that I think really helps make the room so cozy is adding throw blankets and seasonal throw pillows. I feel like if you're not going to decorate, at least change out your pillows. I feel like it makes such a difference. Just for fun. Some are faster, some are slow. I really wanted to make a centerpiece using a tray that way if we ever wanted to move it it would be really simple now I do wish that the tray was either a different color or I had some type of table runner to use Just to break up the wood a little bit so I am on the lookout for a table runner so I can kind of put that underneath and see how that looks because I've seen it done before and I think it looks really nice but I'm still really happy with how the centerpiece turned out I absolutely love it the autumn leaves are playing, chase it, puts a smile up on my face. They leave their branches one by one and whirl around there just for fun. Some are faster, some are slow, and some are high and some are low. Dancing through the last days of September. That's going to be all for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, I would love if you could subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Through the last days of September.